Hey guys, this is Ace Gallo, and this video we're going to be talking about PO Tools, which is some software that I made to help make your studying more effective when you're using PO Solver. So, PO Solver is by far my favorite poker tool to study with, uh, as I assume it is for most of you if you're watching this video. And the PO Viewer software is amazing, like, there's so much functionality in it. But there's just a few things in it that I really wanted that it doesn't have yet. So I figured I'd add it myself. And I liked having them so much that I figured I'd package it up and offer it up to you guys too. So let's get started here. Um, when you first get PO Tools, you're simply going to drag the executable file into your PO Solver folder where you have all of your other uh, PO Solver files and that's it so it's installed now and anytime you want to run PO Viewer you're just going to open up PO Tools and you can make a shortcut or have it on your taskbar to open it up more quickly but that's all you have to do to open up your PO Viewer window now and if you see at the top here we have some new things that aren't usually there in PO Viewer and these would be the PO Tools options so they're grayed out right now that's because we don't have a file loaded and that gets me to the first feature which is, uh, I'm going to pull up this folder here. I have some .cfr files, uh, PO saves, and we can just drag this file into anywhere where these PO tools options are and drop it in, and there you go, it loads your files. So no more uh, closing and opening for a new CFR file or you know taking your time to like look file, load tree, and find where it is, you're just going to be able to keep this folder open on the side and drag them in as you please. Alright, so I think that's pretty cool. And going on to our next feature, we have the Create Notes button. So there's already kind of note functionality in PO Viewer. You have this Tree Information tab that I think a lot of people weren't even aware of. And you can do things like title, give names to out of position and in position, and do additional info. And I think this is great. This is all you really need. The issue that I really have with this is it's in its own tab. And I like to kind of browse through the tree and guess what's going to happen and then discover what actually does happen and take notes while it's going on. And it's just a little bit much for me to have to tab back and forth between that. Uh, it kind of interrupts my, my thinking. So what I did was just bring it to the forefront. You have your own dedicated window now for taking notes. Uh, same options as in the tree information tab. Uh, and you can take as many notes as you want. And this window can get as big as small as you want. And I've also added a color coding option. So when you finish taking your note and you close this out, you're going to see this changes and we get that little note icon. And that will change with uh, whatever color you set it to. So I think that in itself is pretty cool, but the big idea with this is to eventually have it so all the files where you note them as a certain color will be grouped, whether they're in the same directory or not, and you'll be able to pull all of those uh, color type files up at the same time. So you'll be able to just open up a window that has all of your CFR files that are color coded in that way and that's going to make your studying a lot more efficient uh, when you're trying to recall things that you know you have marked the same way so you could you know maybe do a yellow note for like three bet pots or something like that like where you have interesting notes on a specific uh, situation within that hand uh, which I think is pretty cool uh, but going on to our next option that we have here is the next street button and this one I really like uh, I use it a lot a lot and you'll probably use it a lot if you use preflop sims like what this is here but I also use it a lot for uh, flop and some turns but a lot of flop and a lot of preflop stuff so what does it do well let's say we want to take these preflop ranges uh, at a certain node and take them to a flop. So let's say we're looking at a spot where it goes raise, three bet, and call. And now we're getting to the next node, which is going to be a flop here. So we want to take these ranges into 
the build tree uh, and calculations tab and we want to input both ranges here we want to set the board and starting pot and effective stacks so you could do that manually it's you know not that much work but if you're doing a lot of studying in a day it's pretty annoying to have to do this little tedious thing and copy and paste the ranges in uh, figure out what the uh, effective stack is going to be now into the pot instead we have this just click on that button we say what are the next cards that we want let's say it's ace of diamonds king of diamonds queen of clubs and this is just the same format that you can write in the uh, PO viewer in general um, so click OK and we can see that it's automatically pasting the ranges updating the board and updating the starting pot and effective stacks so like the sim that we have here starts off with 230 uh, starting stack and a 15 chip pot but we can see that at the end of this node here before we get to the flop we have a 90 pot and each player is put in 45 chips from their 230 starting stack and we can see that that's correct it's been updated right the effective stacks and the starting pot so this is like super super helpful if you're using preflop ranges or if you're like me I really like to save just flop strategies and uh, calculate with fairly limited like river sizings maybe I'll only use like two sizings on a river but then I want to be able to recalculate say with my ending flop strategies starting from the turn and maybe add a sizing on the turn and add a couple sizings on the river I don't think that flop strategies are going to change all that much if I were to originally set the sim up that way so I think the flop strategies uh, strats that I'm going to have are going to be pretty decent to do this way and it really saves on computing time when you first run the simulation uh, there is an option in PO viewer to recalculate um, if you only have flop strategies but you're just fixed to only being allowed to use the sizings that you used when you originally made the sim so this uh, allows for a lot more flexibility and it also makes it a lot easier to get your pre-flop stuff into flops so really nice option to have all right now the last option that we have here is probably going to be the fan favorite and i'll set something up here we have uh, 100 bb spot doesn't really matter but if we look at the uh, the sizings that we give same sizing options for both players here it's going to be about donks so let's say that I would like to be able to add like a 35 option for donking but when I'm considering donking that's the only option that I want to use I don't want to use the 65 or 150 but when I'm not donking I want my turn options to be 65 and 150 and I don't want to include that 35 well Currently in PO Viewer, if you want to have this donking option of 35 and you want these other options, you have to include all of them. And that's going to make the tree huge. And it's not that much fun because you don't really want these options for when you're donking and you don't want this option for when you're not donking. So what I've done, if you've probably figured it out by now, is given you an option here with this edit donks button where you can say when this bet is a donk remove these sizes so when this bet is a donk we're gonna remove the 65 and the 150 sizes and then when this bet is not a donk remove these sizes and that would be the 35 so when the bets not a donk we just want to keep the 65 and 150 not the 35 alright then we put in our flops so we'll say again like ace of diamonds king of diamonds queen of clubs same syntax as the script generation uh, window and you can do one flop per line so you can do as many flops as you want up to all I think it's 22,100 uh, and you can just put them all in like this and if you want to add weight to it like you can in the script generation thing you can do it that way and we have our save files to this is where you're going to save your script file and where it's going to save the .cfr when the script runs you have your stop when uh, percent of pot accuracy is reached 
and you can set that here or your timeout of however many seconds and you can choose from full saves, small saves, or micro saves where you only save flops. Uh, so here we're just going to do full saves so we can show you what it's like. And let me pull up, well, first let's run this. Okay, so it's already run and instantly you're going to get this uh, folder where, if I can find this, sorry, one second. Should have had this already up. All right, so instantly you're going to have this uh, script made. And you can either copy the contents of this script and paste it into here in your script generation tab uh, and run it from there. Or you can do load, uh, where is it, tools, solver, load script, and load it that way. Uh, I'm going to shut this recording off for a second so I can run it and show you guys the results and I'll be right back. Okay, so it finished running and we can just drag and drop into our PO viewer and take a look at it here. So uh, on flop, we have, uh, let's take a look at when it goes check bet. Now in this sim, we have three sizing. So after this bet, when we get to a turn, the first action uh, in PO Viewer, if you were to set this up without that option, you should see three sizing options. So we go bet, call, and pick a random turn. And we see that there's only the one option here. This is the small dong size. So we know that that worked. And we can go to like root, check, check, pick a turn there. And we only have two options here. And that would be the uh, 65 and uh, 150 sizings, right? So work there. And this is really, really cool for me. It's something that I wanted really badly. And I'm sure it's something that's going to come eventually in the PO viewer, but I was impatient. I wanted it now. And, uh, hopefully you do too. So, uh, I think that'll wrap it up for, for the uh, video here. And if there's any features that you want, you know, like the first customers to get it and request stuff. If it's something that's doable, um, I am very likely going to add it. I'm really excited to just add a bunch of stuff to this and get working on it. So let me know if you like it. Let me know what you want to see. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. All right. Have a good day, guys.